Welcome back to Comics Rediscovered and quick unboxing video today. I'm not going to worry about the intro or anything. I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, I hadn't been to my comic shop for a while, so I did stop in and just kind of emptied out my box. I hadn't been there for a while, so I have uh, a whole bunch of Walking Dead Deluxe. I also had a few issues of Crossover. Nothing special. They're all just the standard covers. Uh, and then my two issues of Firepower, and so far I'm loving this series. I'm pretty excited about Firepower whenever it comes out. Um, so that's kind of what I picked up from my box, and there's a few other new things that I had. Um, the new Iron Fist Heart of the Dragon. This is the Aya variant cover, and also volume, or sorry, issue two. And then the, uh, the other thing that I was kind of excited about to find there not a uh, hard to find book or, or uh, an in-demand book, but I love the cover. Marvel Tales number 11, uh, 1965 or 1967, something like that. Canadian 25 cent book. And I just love these Silver Age covers. And I love Daredevil in the original yellow suit. Uh, so that's why I picked that one up. It's in okay shape. It definitely needs a bit of a clean and a press. Um, it's a little bit dirty and everything. It is a square bound book, which I was kind of surprised by. Um, I think because there's about four different stories that happen in this and they're all kind of complete stories. It's not, you know, short stories or anything. I think there's a full Daredevil Spider-Man uh, battle story here. But excited for that one. I love that cover. Not a super expensive book, like I said, probably not even worth me getting graded at this point unless I can get it really cleaned up well, um, but excited to pick that one up. And then I've got a couple of uh, eBay purchases. So this one, um, kind of disappointing, it just came in like a paper envelope. It is cardboard, but cardboard on one side and then a free comic on the other. So I don't know what to expect when I open this up, if my comic's gonna be in any kind of decent shape or not. Okay, so there we go. Got the tape off. So the book that I ordered online uh, is to go with the rest of my collection. I didn't have this one yet, uh, but Far Sector number one, the first print cover. I have one of the variant covers, um, but I did not have this one yet. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. There's uh nope, that's just the plastic. I thought, I thought there might be a ding there, but it is just the the plastic. Otherwise, it looks like it's in good shape. I'll get that open and have a closer look at it. And like I said, they included a free comic, The Misplaced Chapter 2. I don't know what that is. Um, but no board or anything, so it's probably nothing. All right, and one of the other exciting eBay purchases I got, and I'm pretty stoked about this one, uh, not a comic book, but certainly comic related. Uh, I love Alex Ross and his artwork, so I managed to pick up an Alex Ross Spider-Man print. This is the character model. Um, it was done initially for San Diego Comic-Con, and a limited copy, I think there was limited, yeah, limited to 100, and I think there was only 25 available um, at the event. So this is, if you can see there, Number three of 25, PP, three of 25, and it does come with the certificate of authenticity. And like, that's pretty dope to have character illustrations from Alex Ross. Uh, I'm probably gonna get this one framed up and put nicely with the uh, certificate of authenticity. And that will certainly go up on my wall. Pretty excited to have that. Um, I mean, it's nice and clean. There's no damage, no no anything to this. Just really nice looking. Happy to pick that up. The other thing that I was happy to pick up recently, uh, this is from Comic Traders here in Canada. 
They also go by pullbox.ca and this will have a few Spider-Man books in it as well, as well as a CGC slab. So let's open it up, a look. Okay, so everything is packed in there and they even have the peanuts. So first up, books. Uh, again, staying in line with artists that I like. Uh, Gabriel Del Otto does some ridiculous cover work and his Spider-Man designs are always pretty dope. Uh, so, ComicTraders.ca was having a sale for all their back issues, buy three, get three. So I was able to put together a little run of Spider-Man books. Uh, let's see if we can do this in order. Here we go. So they're all guaranteed to be, I think their site says 9.4 or above. So we have the Amazing Spider-Man 45 Del Auto cover, 46, look at that one. Uh, this is one of my favorite covers. That's an awesome cover. 47. Forty eight, forty nine, and this is a thick one. This is a square bound book, but again, that's another one of those covers that that is a dope cover. And you see, nice. Ooh, can we get the camera to zoom there? Yeah, square bound, nice cover, and it. Being square bound, this is in perfect shape. This is for sure a 9.8 candidate. And then to round out all six is number 50. Again, that's another great cover. And again, uh, this one's got a bit of a ding up in the corner here. So this is maybe a 9.6. It looks like manufacturer defect as opposed to, you know, a problem with the comic, but there we go, we got run of 45 through to 50. And three of them were free, so that's not bad. That's a pretty good pickup in my opinion, uh, to have these variant covers, the dope Del Auto artwork, um, and get three for free, not a bad deal. And I think all of them, as they said, they should all be 9.4 or above. And just quickly looking at them, that looks like you know, probably the case and that's kind of hard to do with I know some of these books that are just all black background um, so I maybe have a look at a few of these maybe they get sent in as well uh, we'll see all right and then last but not least I got this book because um, the chances that I can afford the original are pretty slim. Um, got a slab. I won't be affording the original anytime soon and we do have a Funko collection and I don't know if you can see here we have the Funko Hulk. So to go with that we can match up our Funko collection. We do have the Funko Hulk as well up on the board. Um, to match that, to match my shirt, I picked up the facsimile edition of the Incredible Hulk number one. Okay. I don't know how much of the glare I can cut down on, but we'll do our best. I'll maybe get some better shots for these after. Da -da -da. And let's see. Incredible Hulk Funko shirt with the original cover. And obviously 9.8 for the facsimile edition. Pretty excited to have this. Uh, this was one of those things that I also got a sale on it, so why not pick it up if it's on sale? It's a dope cover to begin with and obviously nice looking. So excited to have that one as well. Leave a comment below and let me know what did you like from this? What do you think of those Del Auto Spider-Man covers? Or do you like these facsimile editions that Marvel puts out? I have a few of them. This is the first one I have graded. 
uh, but I have Avengers 57 and a few others in the facsimile editions. I like them because I, like I said, I can't just go out and buy an original Hulk number one. Um, so this is nice to have just to honor the history. So leave your comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video.